This is Replicant Fish. Bust and move that like button and subscribe for more content. I'm not sure if that works, but huh. Hello men, hope you're having a good day, having a good weekend. Now I will say this at the start of this video. This is not a motivational video where I tell you to do any of these things. This is not an instructional advice video where I try to give you advice or inform you on any of these things. These are just my opinions, my experiences, and my thoughts as a man. My thoughts and experiences to the topic of why men play mind games on women. And again, playing mind games on people is not a good thing. Okay, that's enough safety padding for now. So, I remember when I was younger and I was so naive and so enthralled and lost in falling for women every step of the way. I remember having this thought that women had this huge mental ability over me that women always seemed one step ahead of me in terms of their thoughts. Yes, of course, I was very naive. But you see, what I did not understand is they only had that power because of my desire for them. In other words, they didn't actually have that mental power over me. Because of my desire for them and the thoughts I had about them, I had raised everything about her, including her mental capabilities. In a sense, by putting her on a pedestal, putting them on a pedestal, I was lowering myself. Once again, by putting them on a pedestal, I was lowering myself. But you see, as time went along, and I understood the difference between having the blind thirst and a lack of control, in comparison to having the control of the thirst, and then looking at the woman again, what I actually understood was, the mental capability was not there in comparison for the majority of the time. Now this is not me saying most of the women I've come across are not that intelligent, that's not what Fish is saying, but uh. the fact is once I took the desire out of the picture I could then see the woman directly. I could then understand her. I knew then whom I was looking at because I wasn't lost in the thirst. Now once I understood this I then realised, wait a second, wait a second, without my desire for her, and us now on almost level planes of thought and mental capabilities, all that nonsense, I then realised, wait a second, I can actually outthink this woman, no problem. In fact, I could outwit her, I could actually wind her up, I could actually make her trip up. In fact, I could actually make her say things almost I want her to say. In fact, I could actually make her do things that I'd want her to do. In fact, my god, the realms of possibilities are almost endless. But then it depends on how cold you want to be as a man, how ruthless and just downright despicable you want to be as a man. See, this is why I say women should come to you, you should not be the one running after them. And I also emphasise the fact that it doesn't work for all men if you don't understand yourself and understand them enough. Yes, you can talk about looks and money and whatnot, but there are other levels to it. Looks and money do play a factor, but that's not the be-all and end-all. But understand this, when you have the ability to not be so weak and so easily taken advantage of, you can then look a woman in her eyes and in her face and see the real person there. See what darkness and mystery and danger and fear lies beyond her eyes. The reason why men play mind games on women is because they can. They understand they can. They understand how in a sense some women can be very naive towards them. They understand the benefits they can get in, let's say, running these mind games on her. In no way is anything that I'm saying good or anything I am saying for anyone to do. No. But even in dating and even in using an old ancient word, even in courting a woman, it's the mind games you play on her anyway. How a simple trick I learnt, and when I learnt it, I doubled down on it. <laughs> My god. But it's the fact of making her appear as the thirsty one, in other words. It's difficult to explain on YouTube in modern times, but it's almost a sense of putting the thoughts in her head, keeping her curious towards you. This is why if you're a man giving a woman everything, you have no mystery about you. There's nothing mysterious about you, you're all up front. It's boring to them. Not that you're boring, but to them you are. Understand this as well, man. This is why the psychological game of 
A dude that we know isn't much, but because he has this fake swagger and appeal, he's able to pull certain types of women. See, we understand the dynamic, but understand he's selling an image to her. You see, as men, understand, you can sell many images to women. Because women lean so heavily on their emotions, you could actually sell them almost fantasies and emotions and fairy tales. Once again, do not copy or imitate anything I'm saying. That's not what this video is about. It's me making points. It's a sense of when you understand telling a woman a lot of nonsense and then her believing it or falling for it or and even if she knows it's not true, her want to believe it so much for it to be so true because of how she may feel for you, obviously she would still fall for it. You see, the point is, as a man, do not let the woman have any room in your head. The point is for you to be the one with room in her head. And it's not the fact of she's thinking about you in necessarily a nice way, but she's thinking about you anyway. That's the point. She's thinking about you anyway. Why? Because you told her straight how you feel, what you want, and you have no time to deal with her in this way. And she's one of many, and you can move on and get another woman anyway. Doesn't matter what she says, she's one of many. Let her know that she's not more important than the one that came before her and the one that will come after her. She's one of many. See, some men throw money at women and treat women in such a way. When in a sense of, you should let women earn anything nice you actually do for them. Yes, they should earn anything nice you do for them. Even to the point of this, even to the point of you sleeping with them, they should actually earn that as well. Now, some would say that doesn't actually work for everyone. It doesn't actually work for everyone. But in a sense, you can see yourself as the everyone if you so choose. But my point is, women deserve to be treated well when they behave themselves. Again, women should only be treated well when they behave themselves. As in, when you give them all these extra gifts and all this crap, they should have to earn it. This is a skill that men don't seem to understand nowadays, or they just or they just were never taught it, or they just gave up on it, or they just didn't care. It's the fact that women should earn anything you do and give them. They should earn anything you do for them and give them. Most men, the majority of men, are just too used to giving them everything. And because of this, many of them would expect it. So when they come across a man that makes them know they have to actually behave and earn anything they get from him, in a sense, this could actually make a woman learn to become humble. Because in order to get what she wants from you, she has to be humble towards you. Does not mean she likes you, no. Does not mean she even cares, no. But the point is, she respects you. Because she has no choice but to. You're not one of these common everyday fools giving her everything and wondering why she doesn't respect you, no, no, no. You have put the thought in her head that she has to respect you. If not, you'll move on to another one because she is not that important to you where you will hold on to her for dear life. Why? She's one of many. As a man, your life should be bountiful. Bountiful in your time and energy. And if you so choose, bountiful in a few chicks as well. A few broads. A few dames. Not dames you would fight for, no. Dames you would have your fun with. Playing mind games on a woman to manipulate the woman to destroy her is not anything I'm saying in this video at all. It's more a sense of the mind games of letting her know not to try to play the mind games on you. Because you're not set up in such a way. You give her no access to your mind in such a way. You give her no access to your life in such a way. As a man, you have to let a woman know from the beginning what you will and will not tolerate. And the moment she does not tolerate it, you let her know where the door is and why she should be on the other side of it. Women only have the power to run mind games on us if we let them. The way they have the power to do so is because of our desire for them. When you can look past the desire and see the woman, you are then looking at the real person. Not what you're lusting after. Not what you're blindly thirsting after. No. You see the real woman there. When you can see her from the beginning, there's less chance of you finding out how she really is later on. 
after you have made a commitment. Women can only play so many mind games. But as men, we play the biggest mind games on ourselves. Here's to every man that retains the power of body and mind. Focus. Observe. Remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.